I think Britain still counts as having an empire. They've got sheep islands all over the world. And occasionally the members of the Commonwealth still step up and do what they are asked. Occasionally. Mostly <coughs> just for sports these days. Ah. If only, you know, Britain itself wasn't fucking ass backwards. I don't think it's ass backwards. I think they're retarded. Uh, I think they should just get Brexit over with. Because their dilly dallying is retarded. Just be honest. We don't want to pay Europe any money and we don't want any more immigrants. Aww. Oh, my grenade did kill someone. My latency is uh, pretty terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, somebody had to host, and I decided that somebody would be me. Right, I'm spawning up. Actually, I don't even know if there's like a server in the middle of the US. I think Australia, New Zealand, I know there's... I think there might be a Japanese server, but I don't know what that ping would be like. Alright, grenade. Bugger off, Germans. Oh. Uh, you know, I really should look for a French rifle for my military World War II rifle collection. I mean, it'd be a great condition, wouldn't it? French rifle, never fired, only dropped once. Well, uh, I mean, technically, it'd probably be in pretty bad condition. Because you gotta remember, um, <clears throat> they didn't really need them, so they probably didn't store them that well. <laughs> they already got their SOP ready for the next one. I could get an Italian rifle. Only problem is, every so often it would just change owners. I'd f wake up one morning and find it in the neighbor's shed. <laughs> And it's just as likely to uh, kill you. <laughs> Viva Italiano. Oh, that's the, um, actually the gun that um, Oswald used to kill JFK was an ex-World War II uh, Italian army rifle. How do you melee again? Uh, if. F. Yeah. God, this game's so weird sometimes. Well, the bollocks thing is, the Tannenberg, the melee is V. So, if you're playing both games back to back, you have to remember that control. Or you just do what I did and bind them both to F, because that's less stupid. It's kind of weird, because they're both made by the same developer. They're both connected to each other. So, why do they have slightly different controls? It just seems like you're doing it to... Yeah, no. To piss off the user pains. Just to piss off the pedantic. So me. Yep. Ah. Just you. Me specifically. Sometimes I feel that way, you know. The world's specifically out to piss me off. Also, you could be teabagging my head and I wouldn't know. With no HUD and no minimap, I have no idea except for the Germans directly in front of me. <laughs> The enemy has a foothold. Push them back. Yeah, Take Rob. It's taking you so long. Uh, the fact that the rest of the team are retarded. I'm running through it's the like trench. The yeah. Although, to be fair, I have a greater respect for the AI than other players. Who are all dicks. Humans ruin everything. I have no idea how this game even plays. There's been so many updates since I last. Like consistently was playing. Yeah, it has been a while. Uh, at least it's not as bad as Tannenberg. Well, we seem to have won the first round, so that's good. They're running. Shoot them in the back. It's the only that's honorable, honorable. <laughs> only honorable way to fight. <laughs> All right. <coughs> I have as if Why did you inject all of the rounds? I just wanted the ones you'd shot. <laughs> Are you firing a revolver using a revolver? 
Yes. Ah. <laughs> oh god, I'm armed with a three round bolt action rifle. Who invented this? That would be the French. Oh, what a... I mean, yes, if this was 1887 or 1897, I could accept the three round bolt action rifle. Oh wait, we're playing the Colonials. So of course they're getting the outdated second hand military tech. French aren't going to give their eight round bolt action decent guns to these guys, are they? And they have a three round bolt action as well. It's such a dumb idea. And I don't have any grenades either. Oh, I've got a, I've got a machete. Okay. So it appears that we are a bunch of people with machetes. Wow, I just got four kills with the grenade. Nice. See, they rebalance grenades in one of the earlier patches. Grenades used to be worthless. Like, the AI could dodge... Oops. The AI could predict grenades, and they'd just, you know, dodge them. But now it's like, they don't. Or at least they're not as obvious about it. Right. Wait. Oh, this round, this gun has. F oh, this gun has five rounds. Good. Okay, I can live with that. It's this class has access to one of the British guns. Which one? The uh, MLE something. Oh, the yes, I have one of those. The Model Lee Enfield. My class has access to the pop gun, as I affectionately call it. Which is because it pops. Yeah, it goes pop, pop, pop. But surprisingly, as high rank magazine, high rate of fire, and actually drops people more effectively than the rifle most of the time. Stop screaming! You were shot in the face, we know. Be quiet. What do you want me to do about it, you bitch? <laughs> it's not like we have any medics here. I forgot how much I hated the uh, grenade mechanics in this. Ah, uh, pressing G and it sort of happens <clears throat> eventually. It gets around to it in its own damn time. Is about right. There are Germans in the gas. I called that gassing. There are Germans in your farts. Uh, you hurt my feelings. You don't have feelings. You're a figment of my imagination. I mean, you're not wrong, but, you know. You are a figment of my brain-damaged imagination, desperately designed to try and simulate human contact. <laughs> so I don't just evolve into only watching anime. That one meme where it was like, when you show your friend an anime, <laughs> 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 what have you done to me? That was like, I saw that and thought, like, what did I do to this man? <laughs> Before he uh, met me, he was probably like, animes for fags. The only anime I'd ever watched was like, DBZ, which I don't count, because it's, it's always done its own thing. You know, it's a bit too mainstream to be called anime these days. Uh, and I watched like a couple episodes of Bebop, but I never actually sat through the whole thing. Uh. Like, your brother gave you some background with it, but, it, but I feel like I was the... Instigator. Yeah. That was the straw that bo broke the camel's back. So <laughs> A camel made of anime girls and bad isekai. <laughs> She's a fictional character. She doesn't exist. It's perfectly fine, officer. Uh, it's only a problem if it's illegal, and it's not illegal to have sex with animated children. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh jeez. Containment breach, sound the alarm, call the FBI. Uh, up. I thought we captured the trench, did they recapture it in that short time? No, they actually have four lines of trenches. If you capture all four lines, you win. But by the end of the 25 minute timer, whoever's captured the most sectors win. 
I see. And again, because I have no HUD, I wouldn't know. We could be losing dramatically, or we could be halfway to Berlin. I couldn't tell you. I think we captured one sector, so we're, we've got the advantage. Is that you standing up in the open popping with a pistol? No, I don't. I switched over to a rifle. Yeah, because he was a guy standing on my head, popping away at a pistol, and I was like, that seems like something you would do. Uh, uh, no, the pistol is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can switch my position, can I? Yeah, you can switch to different areas of the squad. Ah, that was great. I shot a guy as he jumped and his body ragdolled in the air. What is a petard explosive? It is a bomb on the end of a stick. Kind of like a German stick grenade, except it's a lot bigger explosive charge. The idea was you'd shove it in the base of a bunker and, um, you know, it would blow open the bunker that way and it would give you more of a reach, you know, to get away from the blast. Uh, as opposed to Age of Empires 2 where a petard is a dude who suicide charges with a barrel of gunpowder. I have the power. You have Never the mind, power. I don't have the power. <laughs> you have the power of death. <laughs> I have the power of poor latency. <laughs> That's every online game I play. Especially War Thunder. It's really nice trying to play that at 300 fucking ping. And I hear what you're saying. Why don't you play on the Southeast Asian servers? Yeah, because no one plays on them. You either play America or eat shit. Alright, one German dead, two Germans dead. German's dead, he lived, and he died. Four kills from five shots is not a bad accuracy rating. I mean, if I was an American police officer, that would be an excellent accuracy rating. Four kills with five shots? Yeah. Uh, Char boy. I was killed by Christian Mufault. You know, I have to wonder, how many of these Germans we don't kill end up growing up, or end up growing old, joining the National Socialist Party, and we end up having to kill them again in the next war? We're winning. I can't tell. Uh, we are currently, but the enemy seem to be heading, getting the second trench line back. The problem is, and one of the problems with this game is the spawn system, they just spawn in big waves, so you fight off the first wave, get the enemy position, and then have to deal with the next wave immediately. It doesn't give you any time to have a break, to have a tea and a biscuit. No. So I read this book, um, what was it called, The Storm of Steel? Mm -hmm. This is a German account of World War One. Yeah. It's actually kind of worth a uh, listen to. Yeah. Pretty entertaining. I'm guessing it had lots of delightful sections about having um, turnip bread, and turnip soup, and turnip stew, and had no, lots of gravel for dinner. He didn't really talk about that. He was just like, man, shit near the end of the war got kind of rough. It's an officer's account, so. Ah, wouldn't be like the smucks on the front line. Yeah, because by the end of the war, like, the British Navy had blockaded all the ports, so they, Germany was getting no food, and they were all starving to death. No, yeah, because they were like, it was interesting because I read a you know, historical thing. At the start of the war, you know, your rations were, you had big amount of rations, they even had like a wine, 
ration for the Germans and, you know, they had a beer ration for the British. And then by the end of the war, the German rations, it's like, coffee. Coffee is made from acorns. It isn't actually coffee. Uh, you know, meat. Well, they ran out of meat, so you're eating turnips at this point. Maybe a few potatoes. And then it, and I'm thinking, well, I wonder how it was for the British. And then the British side, it's like, what are you eating? Corned beef. Okay. And lots and lots of tea. And that's it. Uh, are they? Yeah. Well, at least they're well fed. Yeah. Of course, it makes me wonder, like, man, all these little poets and shit bitching about how tough the war was. It's like, man, you guys don't even know. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's like the one of the most famous poems. It's like, um, you know, in any corner of forgotten field will be forever England. Um, he didn't even die in battle. He got the flu and died. And it's an awesome poem, but when you look into his history, it's like you're romanticizing the war a bit for someone who never actually fired a bullet in anger in your freaking life. <laughs> and then it comes yeah. to the other ones yeah. who are telling the more patriotic poems, and it's like, this guy died the next day of writing this, and it's like, oh, okay. Uh. And then the depressing thing is, in 25 years, they, sh they have to do this shit again. Was it seriously only 25 years? Oh, 1918 and then 1939, so... 19... Uh, 31? Yeah, so 30 years, basically. So, I guess you could lie about your age, go into the war at 15, and then, you know, be only, like, early 40s. By the time the Second World War shows up. Dude, how have we not captured this place? Uh, I think the Germans... Ah, because if you go around the trench corner over there, there's about 15 Germans in a big clump. I should probably get a grenade for those guys. Well, I'm out of ammo, so... I'm sure... Oh, no, in Tannenberg there's... Now you can get ammo crates. Oh, thanks for the... Poison gas, lovely. I love drinking Agent Orange for breakfast. <laughs> I charged up with the machete. It didn't work out so well for me. Oh, you fucking artillery. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I pulled the pin on the grenade, artillery around killed me. I was like, what a waste of a grenade. And then one guy walked over my body and the grenade went off. It was a morale victory. Well, I guess we're even. Right. Move out the way. Granata! Ah, uh, I don't have enough bullets. How is this a draw? We took one of their objectives. <laughs> Assholes. It's lame. We took one of the enemy trench lines. How is it in the draw? We gained because a whole hundred points. We yeah. gained a whole hundred yards. Field Marshal Haig would be proud. From twenty five miles behind the line. 